What is going on, my everythings? It is your girl, Jenny Quay, and I am back with another reading for you guys. If no one told you guys today, I love you, and I know all your dreams and aspirations matter because they do. I've been so busy, y'all, with personal readings, all right? So that's why I haven't been honest, okay? If you guys want a personal reading, my um, email is in the description box down below, and then you'll email me, and then we'll set up a time and a day where you available all right or readings are 45 dollars okay so let's tap in and see what we've been missing let's have in my everything's i miss you guys archangel michael and the leg wall please protect me protect my mind my body and my spirit clear all my chakras as we tap in to somebody oh to somebody's damn i don't i don't even know what i was gonna say all right, maybe to, to tap into somebody's energy. All right, let's see. Let's see what all this is about. Wow. Ooh, imprisonment. All right, somebody is, can't tap into your energy. All right, somebody can't tap into nobody's energy. Somebody, it's like giving an imprisonment in their mind. Somebody could be very, very nervous about going to prison somebody could be very nervous about being held accountable for something that they've been trying to rat other people out on and throw people under the bus on all right somebody might have been trying to get information on you wow oh my gosh a letter Somebody might be getting a, 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 a letter in the mail that they going to jail or whatever message that was communicated to this person put them in a mental prison. All right. Somebody, I'm also seeing like somebody getting a message that you are free. Like, you are not being held responsible for something. Like, you found innocent. It's like somebody was doing something. Thank you, Spirit. Somebody was doing something and was trying to make it seem as if it was you. For some of you guys, they could have even been acting like they were you. Like, trying to steal your identity. I'm hearing identity theft. All right? Or somebody could have just been moving as if they were you. Doing things as if they were you. Okay? They could have been saying some stuff to people to make people think that you are doing something bad. Whole time, this motherfucker is going to jail. This motherfucker is under spiritual, under you know, spiritual uh, judgment and court and all of this. Okay? This is somebody's conscience also fucking with them. All right? There is some form of communication. All right? I don't know if it was a text message. All right, I don't know if it was a phone call. It was some type of message that highlighted the real problem and who was the real problem. And this person can no longer gaslight nobody no more about something that they are to be held accountable for. And this is like locked up, throw away the key type of energy. Somebody could feel isolated. All right, something could be happening on the 29th. Okay. This could have been a phone call. I see a phone here or a message, a text message. Somebody thinking about what you said. Somebody is thinking about what you said. And with this painted picture right here, somebody try to paint a picture of you. To somebody else so that way they won't fuck with you. Or they won't work with you. All right? Or they won't agree with you. The image that somebody painted, all right, in their head about you, they are now noticing that that is not what it is. Whoever is imprisonment right now in their own thoughts, in their own life, spiritually, mentally, emotionally, financially, and physically, all right, they try to paint a picture of you, a certain version. Uh, it's like an assassination of character. 
damn, they're going to jail. All right. And let me tell you, when I say spiritual jail, please don't laugh. Because spiritual jail is the worst jail. You would rather go to physical jail. All right, spiritual jail. I don't even know what it's like to be in spiritual jail. But I heard it's really bad. Okay? Somebody is under judgment. And either going to jail jail or definitely in spiritual jail. For assassination of character. Somebody is in deep thought about the picture that they have of you. And what they know to be true of you. And it's conflicting somebody else's view and beliefs about you. They're thinking heavily. The lovers. Great fortune. So you got the bag. You are in your ten of pentacles. You have reached a certain level of enlightenment and success in your life. This is a milestone in financial prosperity probably for you. Um, This is definitely a breakthrough. All right. This is a windfall of abundance where you have been put on a pedestal because, all right, of your position in life your security, your stability, and your great fortune. This is like your legacy. This is what's, what we all were trying to get to, our great fortune and our generational wealth. So you tapped in. All right, somebody might be jealous. All right, for some of y'all, somebody was even trying to steal your money on the low, okay? But somebody is jealous of your great fortune and that you are put on a pedestal by a lot of people. It's looking like you help a lot of people with this great fortune. Look, how you pouring it out. But you probably not pouring out to their ass. You hear me? They need bail money from spiritual court and bail money from spiritual jail. And you got the abundance. You are the light. Look at you shining. All right? I'm hearing you are the breadwinner. And look how you pouring. You are held with the abundance and the legacy and a title and a great fortune. And that comes with a lot of work. That comes with a lot of sacrifices. So we're not even going to get into the sacrifices because it's nobody's business on why you in your great fortune. Certain shit, you don't have to be explained. All right, but we see that you're giving who your heart tells you to give to. Okay, great fortune. Um, Something is happening on the 26th and the 29th. Somebody might be fucking going to jail or you might be getting a burst of new money where somebody is going to be mentally imprisoned by their thoughts. All right, because the version of you that was painted to somebody... Okay, it's not right. Especially, it's looking like you was given to this person. Whether it is materialistically, emotionally, spiritually, and financially, you're, you're giving it to this person. You, you're there for this person. So when you are reliable, right? And when you're not trying to compete and when you're doing things from the heart, when you're trying to help and just being your authentic self, it's very hard for a certain image to stick on your character through somebody that knows you. This is somebody that knows you. Thoughts. This is somebody that thinks about you and thinks about what they were told you are and who they know you for. And it's looking like all they know you for is great fortune. Like everything around you is prosperous. This might be a certain text message. All right. Got them thinking like this is not this person. All right. Yeah, poverty. You might have helped somebody out of poverty, y'all. Oh. Y'all. This is fucked up. There is somebody in poverty or you knew that was in poverty that you helped with your great fortune. All right. This could even be a kid. This could definitely be a kid. All right. That you were able to help. Okay. And as 
they matured because it's looking like they older now if this this part is your story remember every part is not going to resonate and it might switch up but this this child in poverty has became older now all right it's looking like they're very artistic it's looking like they're very creative. It looks like you inspire them. They think about you when they're at work or when they are doing some sort of craft. All right? Maybe you you inspire them to act on their dreams. All right? But they are really heavily contemplating and reflecting on where they were and where they at now and the role you played in somebody's life. All right? Because now they're no longer in poverty. And that message of concern, there's a message. There's a, a phone message or a text message where you're helping some, you've helped somebody, possibly a kid, a teenager, probably anybody. All right. And as they matured, they think about you. You might not even notice, but you play a very, very, very important role in their life and in their career. Okay, and somebody, there may have been messages going back and forth where you might have delivered a message, all right, and they're thinking about that message, all right, because something probably you said, all right, when they know it's true, and somebody else got a message of concern. It's a lot of messages going around. You know, I'm hearing a lot of he said and she said, and somebody is thinking about the truth. There's a lot of he said and she said when it comes when it comes to one person, when it's about one person to somebody and somebody is really taking stepping back and having a clear look and observing the situation fully because something ain't right. All right, because if somebody's getting help out of poverty, it's like this person is worried as fuck that this person got help. Or this person is worried as fuck that this child got her, uh, help. Like they are concerned. It was a message of concern that this person is no longer in poverty. You know why? Because the big bag is here. And anybody that connected to this great fortune, it will succeed. But remember what I said? I'm giving I'm getting an energy like you are pouring your, your great fortune on those that's, that is reciprocal and that deserve it. That's what's going on. Somebody is being helped. And I'm talking about great fortune is exactly that. Google it. You know what great fortune is. It's helped in many ways. All right. When it comes to financial prosperity, resources, somebody that got it, somebody that knows what to do, somebody that is determined to get you up out of something, that, that they find pride. That's their reward because they don't need money. But they hate rewarding. Somebody in great fortune, bitch, hate giving. That's why you don't notice that. When a lot of people start getting money and they get on, they get caught mean. A lot of people say, oh, they shit on people when they got money. No, bitch, we shit on those who we been with supposed to shit on, but we ain't have no motherfucking money, ho. And you ain't stayed down till we came up. That's what be going on. So somebody is a part of your great fortune and you are the um, choice of that. You are the choice of who get a, who gets some and who who don't. It, it's your great fortune, and you have it now. Okay, so it's looking like there was a situation, yeah, where there's a lot of messages going around. One message is about getting up out of great, getting up out of poverty, having a life. You know what I'm saying? And then there's another message of concern. Because why else would you be concerned that somebody's getting out of poverty and your ass is not? Okay, look, false person, because they was phony and fake anyway, two ass people, all right, literally, or somebody could have had a mask like this person, the front one, oh my gosh, they had a way of manipulating, this was a master narcissist, or oh, what you're seeing right now, because it's red, all right, they deal with a lot of passion and fiery energy, lust. Is what I'm hearing. Temptation. All right. Power. Struggle. Always wanted to be in front. It's looking like the masculine didn't even have nothing to say. They, they were blinded. They were blinded. All right. They was they caught in a fire already. It's looking like they already in the line of fire. But who's not is this person. 
They may have had a hard life, but they're not dealing with these people. Okay? They would rather work. This is a hard worker. So back in the days, kids, unfortunately, used to get put to work at a very young age to clean, um, you know, the chimneys. All right? And it was so much hard labor. All right? It was, for some of you guys, if you this person or this childlike energy, all right, you work so hard for you to not be like these people because you've seen the falseness. You've seen the fake. Okay? You didn't give a fuck what you had to do. You didn't give a fuck. You probably felt like you was going through child slavery or being used as a child as a young age for their fucking profit. Because look at them. They are dressed up. They are immaculate. And look at this. Having to work. Oh, trying to teach them how to work and stuff. But look at this. This is crazy. Uh-uh. Somebody is being helped because this is wrong. Ain't no way. It don't even look right. And somebody has received a message of concern. And now, thank you, spirit. This card is going to fall right under this one. All right? Somebody is realizing whatever this false person was saying about you to assassinate your character. Okay? So that way, I don't know why we'll get to that. It's, they know it's not true. They know it's not true. Because whatever that they're saying, how the fuck are you in great fortune? How? You are in a state of affluence and influence right now. All right? So, look, <gasps> under great fortune, privilege. Y'all, this is somebody that was phony and that was fake and somebody that was privileged and unbothered. Happy O's ain't hating and hating hoes ain't happy. All right, there's a divine feminine and her divine feminine energy, very privileged in life. Don't have to do nothing unless she want to. Very stable, very abundant. Also, Alona, all right, enjoys her motherfucking wealth in private, but also knows how to give, all right? Knows how to cultivate, privileged lady. Don't have to work hard. This person has to work. This person is looking like this person has a man, also, and still can't keep up with the privileged lady. So being that you in your privileged energy, privileged lady energy, you going, you going to help. You going to help. All right, somebody is realizing, well, when I'm around them, I don't have to be in poverty. When I'm around them, I don't have to pay for nothing. Like when I'm around them, they treat me so good and make me feel like all I have to worry about is my dreams. When I'm around them, I feel loved. I feel secured. I feel accepted. I feel included. I don't feel judged. I'm not asked certain questions to make me feel like I'm being put on the spot. You know what I'm saying? This is what it is. Somebody that is a privileged lady is also in a great fortune. All right? And whoever this false person is, is imprisoned. All right? By a lot of people and herself and whoever it is. All right. And I'm just, it's just anybody that's in a divine feminine energy, female energy. Assassinate your character. All right. And is. And is now being seen as the false and phony one the whole time. All right. As a person. In a state of affluence, very pri privileged, and in your great fortune, you are going to help somebody. All right? This might be somebody that's younger than you, but you're going to help them because you see that they've been working hard. Remember, this is an image of, like, I'm hearing just, it's, it's, this child was working very hard since young to prove probably that they are a hard worker. They probably didn't even live out their fucking youth. Okay? You're going to help this person. And you probably been helping this person. Okay? You probably been helping this person. You have probably been helping this person. And this person is now realizing. Who is the problem here? First of all, without this person knowing the truth. This person is still under judgment. They are 
and imprisoned in their thoughts and their head. All they do is think about what they did wrong. All right. All they think, all they thought, all they think about is this rat, them being a rat, them doing something to somebody that was actually helping. Somebody was jealous. All right, this is so sad. I'm so sorry y'all going through this. Somebody is jealous that you are able and willing to help somebody that they are connected to that may have felt in poverty with them. They have received a message of concern that whoever this is that they wanted in poverty is no longer in poverty because you're in a picture. And your privilege. And whatever you say goes, obviously, because you paid your dues. That is the only way the privileged lady car come out. With the great fortune, bitch. You hear me? You don't need to validate who you helping or who you not. Okay? And they are very, very triggered by this energy. They are very triggered that this person is also seeing through their manipulation. All right, this person is a wicked person. They tried to turn this person against you because they wanted to seem like they want they they was the one to get them out of poverty. I don't even know. This is some selfish, silly ass shit because some personal problems and insecurities and low self esteem. Somebody is unsecured in life. Somebody is false and is being looked at and observed as a false person. Due to them assassinating this wonderful privileged lady's character. Okay? But it didn't work. Because when you give, you give from your heart. You don't you don't change your you don't change your um you don't change your choice because somebody was trying to get in somebody else's head. Alright? You don't do that. You treat people how they treat you. And I'm pretty sure if you are giving to this person. All right, this person, this person is very honored and shows gratitude. This is probably a gratitude reading. Yeah, but somebody is not believable. Somebody is not believable and their manipulation is not working because it's proof. If somebody said that you was broke, it's proof that you privilege. If somebody said that you was mean, it's proof that you give. If somebody was said that you wasn't creative, how when you were successful? So it's like, it's like, what is really the underlying reason why this person wants this person to be kept from you? Why does somebody want somebody else to be kept from you? And to stay in poverty, though, that's the thing. All right, so spirit, why? Why? What is this um, message of concern? The lies came out. Let me tell you, they had a vendetta. They were fixed on strategically getting in this person's head about you and about your life, about your existence, about your money, your great fortune, about your career, about your success. Like, proof isn't a pudding, you're privileged. But this person wanted to make it look crazy. They probably made it seem like you stole. They probably made it seem like you cheated your way to the top. They probably make it seem like you live off. I don't know how you became privileged. But, bitch, you shouldn't be asking that. God chose you. You don't know why God made you privileged. And you're not trying to ask either. You don't know why God... Look. That's assistance coming in, baby. You don't know why God keep bringing all this assistance coming in. You know why? It's for you to be an assistant to somebody. It is for you to help. Pass on the help to people that really deserve your fucking help. This person was trying to really assassinate your character. And why you was in this privileged energy. All right? And why you was receiving so much money. They were trying to assassinate your character. This is an assassination of character. It is a complete lie. You got the money pouring to the universe. Pouring to whoever that's around you. But you are also wise enough, you know what I'm saying, to say no and back the fuck up. You're not getting shit. You know what I'm saying? Once you see somebody fake and phony, you don't have to give. And I think that's what's irritating this person. Because you're helping somebody else. 
and not helping them. Like you're helping somebody that they connected to and you're not helping them. All right. But that's, you know, that's the way you stay in your privileged energy. Okay. Saying no and knowing that people are fake and phony and they're not deserving of your money or your assistance or your resources or connections. That is how you stay privileged. You don't stay privileged by just giving to those that's phony and fake and has been assassinating your whole, your whole character the whole time. Okay? So, this person has received a message of concern that this person knows that they, they know that they're lying about you. All right? They've received a message of concern that they know that they're lying about you. They know. And they feel stupid because this person probably got a lot of questions. Well, why did you do that? Don't we all? That's the next question. Why did you do that when this person has been not what you're saying? Completely opposite. What was the what was the ulterior motive here? That has something to do with me. Basically like you. Because you was in poverty or somebody was in poverty. I don't know who the fuck this for, y'all. So this is the message of concern that they lies got out. All right. And that they, they, their secrets have been exposed, okay? On the truth of the matter, on who this person really is, this privileged lady, and who they not. Now, the, the next question is, why the fuck did they do that? Spirit, why did this fourth person manipulate and assassinate my everything's character? Because you brought a tower down. The truth brings the tower. All right, you brought a tower and they life down. Okay, this might be the tower. All right, they feel like you ruined their life. I don't know how. They feel like you owe them. Or you feel like they owe you. But you brought a tower down. This person is going through a tower. This is something. This is a, this is a number of lies and secrets blowing up in somebody's face <laughs> literally they can't they can't run from it no more something has blew up in somebody's face when it came to assassinating your character to somebody all right spirit give me more of this tower who is this tower and this is god's will a lot of people don't know that all right this is divine intervention so this tower was supposed to be brought down brought down but whoever brought it down was just the one being used <laughs> communication bitch all right it's your power it's your communication it's your assertiveness it's your boundaries and it's your legacy that's being passed down to you bitch this is your legacy all right this is your legacy all right privilege great fortune handed down in the baton all right you probably you probably communicated that you probably communicated that okay asserted yourself as such you're gonna be you're gonna respect me as privilege i work hard to be privileged you're gonna be you're gonna respect me as great fortune all right because i have it this was uh these were lies the ace of wands is like communication or it's like a burst of and somebody felt froggy too all right to speak on this somebody felt wrong and strong and very powerful and look at them now the tower has hit because everybody is seeing who who has the real power you know you don't have to fight back with words. The best revenge is your paper. Because if you live in privilege, it's something that you're doing right. It's something that you're doing right. If you give into this person, all right, it's probably something that happened with this person and this other person that was in poverty that got this person thinking. The tower has fell down, all right? The mask has came off, all right? And everybody know who really has the power. And certain things. Who really has connections? Who really has resources? Who really, you know, it's like you speak about it and you being about it type of energy. Somebody probably could have even said you was lying about your resources or how you live in. And now somebody know. All right. So this is just all about truth here. All right. And showing who really got power in a situation. It's like somebody probably was trying to even say that you don't even have power to help somebody. And somebody is like, well, damn, yes, she do. And her privileged energy, privileged lady energy. Somebody could have been salty 
that you have the power and the resources and the connections and the authority, all right, to change people's lives because you have it financially. Also, it take money, all right? So somebody is salty that you are in a position. This is a position that you are being given, all right? Somebody is mad that you've been passed down a position in life that has you wealthy and that you can help people, all right? That you are in authority to help people that needs help. You could like really do that. And that's your position now. And they can't. So because they're not in position to help this person get out of poverty, they would rather assassinate your character and not think about this person just so you could look bad, just so you could look like your position is, is not valid for some reason. Because they're trapped mentally. Okay? Because they are living a lie. Their whole life is, is a lie. All right? So that's the message of concern. And it's how everything has blew, blown up in their face. You are in a position of power when it comes to helping people get out of poverty. And they are not. But they are not happy with you holding that crown. And people valuing you for that. People knowing you for that. People know them for lying, for self, for selfishness, all right? Because why the fuck is you mad that somebody getting out of poverty, all right? It's the falseness. It's the image, all right, that's being broken down. Look, the hair font, this is a lesson here. Somebody being so a lesson, baby, all right, to respect the privilege. You hear me? To respect the great fortune. Choose your battles wisely. Somebody couldn't choose their battles wisely. All right. Somebody was trying to help and couldn't do it. So they probably asked you and you did it immediately. <laughs> okay. This is a lesson that's being taught. When it comes to power, bitch, you got the juice. You hear me? And you blocking them. All right. They don't have no power with you. They don't have no power over this person no more. All right. This is a huge lesson. About who really got the power and how, how not to abuse your power. Who's really bringing something to the table? You, look. It's like you really bringing knowledge. You really bringing generosity. You really bringing lessons. You really bringing resources. You really bringing you. This is you. You are the true magician. All right? You are the one with the power and the resources and all of that. You are the one with the big bag right now. And sorry, you've been chosen to be privileged. So it's like God, yo, literally God, oh my gosh, y'all, hold on y'all. Literally, I just got it. Somebody mad. Somebody is mad and holding a grudge against you because God chose you to be up next when it comes to your great fortune. All right, somebody is mad that you were chosen by God. In this current season, in this current lifetime and timeline in your life, to be the chosen one of your great fortune and live a very privileged life. You don't have to work. You don't have to do nothing. Everything is just set for you. God knows what the fuck you went through to get this. All right, but you're here. And that's why you're never supposed to get up. Give up. God chose you, bitch. And now you're here. See, this person is just seeing you on top with your money. you probably flexing. Who what? And you privileged right now. You don't have no worries. That's not your reality no more, struggling. Okay? Somebody mad, it's not them. And the hair font is God. The hair font pick and chooses. It's like both of y'all was here. One chose to be fake. One chose to be real. So who the fuck you going to think God going to choose up next to get this great fortune? The real one. Because the real one has to help other people. Tap into their great fortune. Okay? But you, if you don't have no great fortune and you just fake, you can't help. So this is what it is, y'all. They mad. Uh, this false person is mad that God chose you to be blessed and abundant and privileged right now. God chose you to give. God chose you to have all the power and respect right now. It's like God been chose you, but this person was very manipulative and was confusing this person about your image. You been it. You been a magician, but 
and their eyes being manipulated by this false person, they probably had a different or an uneasy view of you. If y'all spiritual, y'all could be a spiritual practitioner. Somebody could have been like, you do spell work. But this is not spell work. This is high level fucking root work. You hear me? <laughs> You've been chosen. For some of you guys, you, you might have been chosen to even change your belief system. But whatever it is, you are chosen by God. The Hierophant. God chooses who gets the next, who, who's next up. This show season, somebody mad that you next up. You was next up to receive your great fortune. And now you living to experience it. It's a beautiful thing. Because now you helping somebody. And just somebody is pissed. And this is blowing up in somebody's face because you been had the power. You been a part of this legacy. All right, literally, your, your commitments is being honored. You, you kept commitments, all right, that required strong ass sacrifices. All right, this is why you privilege. That is crazy. That's why, y'all, all right, a whole bunch of lies is being exposed. Okay, Spirit, give me more on this poverty. Look, you've been given to this person. Slowly by little by little. You've been giving to this person. You've been feeding their vision. You've been supporting their dreams. You've been talking to them. You've been hearing them out. You've been valuing them. You've been including them. Y'all, you've been giving them the right messages. These are all about messages. The, the, the knights are messengers. It was like, who is, and, and the, the fucking Herophone are messengers too. Somebody is realizing they was, they was being led by the wrong fucking messenger. They was being told different. They was being told wrong by the wrong leader, or something like that. This is messages. Like, who is the right messenger here? One is the messenger of God, and one is the messenger of fucking lies. All right, somebody is realizing who is the right messenger. What? Where is their messages coming from? Is it coming from hate or is it coming from God? That's what it is, and that's why stuff is blowing up in somebody's face because this person probably spiritual too. They know right from wrong. All right. They probably know what magic is. All right. They not stupid. This person did it to themselves because they try to assassinate your character or because God chose you to be up next with your great fortune and living um, live privilege. So that way you can help other people. You just not helping them. Why would you help somebody like that? You're not obligated to help nobody just because you got money. I need y'all to realize that you are not. If you do not feel like giving. You don't have to give when you got money. Now, if, if that's a thing for you where you don't give, that's a problem. But if you know you're somebody that gave, you don't have to give. Okay? That's always going to trigger somebody. All right? And that's what's happening. You've been giving to whoever it is that felt like they was in poverty around these people. Spirit, why did this person, who is this person that felt like they was in poverty around the, this false person? They felt like they didn't have no options. Wow. A king of wands. This could be an Aries, Leo, a Sag, and a nine of cups. All right. They're very happy right now with the information you've been providing them. It makes them feel confident. It makes them feel assured about their dreams. It makes them feel they're not just in their passion and their power. They're in their heart. Nine of cups. It's like wishes fulfilled for this person. It's because everybody need help. How the fuck this person going to be in a king of wands and on the cuffs if they didn't receive no help out of fucking poverty? Hell. This person has matured. They're not this person no more. All right. They are strong. They are a warrior. Okay. And they all they wishes fulfilled. They are emotionally fulfilled with the information that you've been giving them. It's helping them grow. It's helping them realize how courageous they are in a spirit. Okay, it's bringing some sort of money and opportunities in, all right? But it's also following their dreams, being on a throne when it comes to their own power, all right? You're also teaching somebody how to stand in their motherfucking power. It's like you leading by example and somebody is not, all right? But this is a king of wands, baby. Um, and they nine of cups energy, completely fulfilled with what, where they at in life because of the role that you're playing. You're playing a nine of pentacles role. And a nine of pentacles is slow. So that means that, you know, it's the slowest, slowest night in the deck. 
So that means that you give you you're not an honest person. You 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 give information when it's needed. You know what I'm saying? You don't you don't over overbear this person with all this information, all of this. You know you don't you you're not flaunting this. If anything, you making this person feel powerful around you, feeling very very victorious as a king of wands. Look happy, okay. Spirit, oh my gosh. Give me more on this false person, please, and thank you. Blocked. What's going on is whoever this King of Wands is, all right, is blocking this person out because I think that is more so lies being told, seven of swords. Like, they just simply don't want to be lied to no more about you. If, if the person don't like you, this King of Wands, rather just this person say, I don't like you. But all of the lies, all of the slander, all the character assassination is out the window. With this King of Wands when it comes to you. Because they already know who you are. I don't have to. It's the, it's the Hierophant, the Ace of Wands, the Magician. The Great Fortune, the Privileged Lady. I don't need to say nothing about you. It speaks for itself. The fuck? Okay? This person is blocking this Privileged Lady. I mean, um, this false person out. That's what's going on. Then, and what that what is going on is, remember. The Seven of Wands is asserting yourself. So this is this King of Wands asserting herself like blocking them out like oh oh they can even be as simple as i'm not hearing you talk about them no more or i don't want to hear i don't want to be in a conversation with where they are the topic of discussion they're like defending you they have their guard up with this um false person all right justice they know what's fair they want to be fair this is a stand-up person this is a stand-up king of wands all right they they want to be fair. They're not trying to listen to this person or they want to be fair because they see who you really are. All right, yeah. All right, they see you really are. They've been watching. Wow. Spirit, what is the closing out messages? You know, the best thing I can tell y'all is that your hands right now, y'all, your hands, literally your hands right now, it's too occupied with blessings and great fortune for you to be dealing with anybody that has a grudge on you because a king of wands is calling them out and, 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 and being fear on how your character is being spoke, spoken about. Like, this is about, this is not, let me tell y'all, this King of Wands don't even have to be a lover. Because, again, there is not one lovey-dovey card out here. This is somebody that literally just wants to be fair. I need to clear that up. All right? This is somebody already happy. And they own motherfucking energy. You hear me? They're not looking for no fucking clout. They're not looking for no clout from this privileged lady. They're not looking for anything from this false person. They're literally already content in their life. I think that that's why this is bothering somebody because when you're content and when you're happy, you are fear. You're not, you're not trying to be mean to somebody because somebody else wants you to be mean because they don't like them. That's what happens when you raise your vibration. So I need to make this clear. Whoever this King of Wands is to this Knight of Cups, this can be a lover. But they are happy without you. Don't think that they're defending you because they want something from you or because they want to sleep with you. They are very happy, but they are standing on fairness. And the only reason why I feel like this King of Wands is even in it, because the message has been going around. It's like they, he's been putting it. It's a lot of messages. Look, messages coming in, messages going out, and it's for him. It's a lesson also for him to no longer be manipulated by people and to treat people based off of the version of them that they gave him or that they gave no the king of wands yeah him excuse me something has blew up all right and it's about fairness this king of wands don't give a fuck about nobody but himself and i'm so happy to say that this time because he's minding his business but what he's not going to have is injustice be done to somebody that has their hands occupied with so much blessings right now and has been sharing. 
They're not going to do that. That's, that's, this could even be a coworker, a friend, a family member, um, uh, uh, a friend of a friend, somebody that just knows you, you know what I'm saying? And just, you know, they're all good people out there. And then it doesn't always have to be you sleeping with somebody or something. Like, they're all good friends out there. They're all good friend, family members all out there. They're all good people out there. It's how you, you know, treat your relationship. If you was good to people, there's going to be somebody that will defend you. One day, you hear me? And it just so happened, it's this day. Justice. They want to be fear. They feel like they've been violating you. And everything that you have shown them is not true. So why violate somebody? So they they are, and, and the justice is literally making sure. This is not this king of wands saying, oh, and trying to avoid it. No, they're bringing receipts. All right, they're bringing fucking messages it's looking like. And also honoring you on your role and your position in their life. You play a position. The ace of wands to the king of wands to the magician, you have a certain power or influence over this king of wands. But it's looking like in a positive way because they in a nine of cups. You're privileged. You don't need nothing from them. So it's just a different type of relationship you have with this king of wands. Where they are willing to protect your identity. They are willing to protect your image. For real. And that's, that's amazing. He's willing to protect your image. And be fear. Because he knows things are not fear. All right, look. He's been observing. He's, ooh. He's been observing. All right. I don't know why this fell out, but maybe this is the four of wands. Somebody in the household. Maybe he's been, been observing a king of pentacles in the household. All right. This is a king of wands. Maybe he's been observing a motherfucking king of pentacles in our household. All right. But he's been observing. All right. He's been observing. Spirit, give me more than this hangman. He's been being enlightened. You know, the king of wands is not stupid. And they're going to find out. Like, I feel like this king of wands is being fair because they really don't know the envy. They don't know what's the envy for. Because what the fuck? Your privilege. That's all I can say. Spirit, give me more than this hangman. Somebody has... Somebody has a vendetta and is holding um, a grudge because you you got you got chose to be next in life. That's all I can say by God. You got chose to be privileged and you're you're alive. You know that comes with clearing a lot of debt, karmic debt. You know healing, but you are alive to receive your flowers. You are alive to ex ex experience your great fortune and live privilege. You know that sometimes a lot of people just talk about that. You actually live in that. You know, you have, if you go to work, you work by choice. Spirit, give me more of this hangman and this enlightenment. Also, it gives this person seeing something from another way. You know, after seeing something so one-sided, they are finally seeing something from another perspective. And that's your perspective. the empress damn okay this could be a mother all right or this could be this empress is communicating giving giving this person information all right what type of spirit who is this empress and what type of information and she's it's because she can be the privileged lady all right, the empress is the privileged lady for some of you guys, or it could be a mother. All right, so you got to see what role, but an empress is privileged. All right, she has a knowledge, a lot of knowledge to make your dreams and your, your future go fast and take off. All right, this is also a lot of good news coming in. You know, the eight of wands is good and swift news to make you move faster and up out of your position. All right, and the page of pentacles is like that information. That wisdom, that knowledge, that, that connection that you need. All right, Spirit, who is this Empress? Or it could be the complete opposite. And she's being looked at as an Empress, not in a good light. I don't know. Spirit, give me more on this Empress. Nope, they love you. They love you. 
All right, this is an empress that pulls her heart and her soul. Like, whoever this empress is, she loves the shit out of this king of wands. All right, this is love here. This is on a soul level, y'all. This is like a part of your soul family. This king of wands, empress, they y'all have soul family. All right, and that's why you're willing to help. Because I'm thinking, like, why are you willing to help this person so much? They are part of your soul family. The ace of cups with this great fortune, they are part of this. Somehow, they are a part of this legacy. Somehow, all right. They're, I'm hearing they even honoring your commitment that you keep into them. All right, plans. Like this is a whole bunch of plans. They're they're looking for some of you guys. They were looking for this type of love. The love, wow. The, oh my gosh, for some of you guys, you know why they mad? If this is a Spirit said, don't even say that. <sighs> okay. Some, you're the empress. You give nurturing. You're a great mom. You, you, you have a certain delivery and how you give love. It is like so nurturing. It is so welcoming. It is so understandable. Also, you have resources. Everywhere the empress goes, abundant flows. All right. But you had to learn. You had to learn about yourself. All right. The love that you provide this person. Okay, this King of Wands, they've been searching for it all along. Because, again, the King of Wands is happy by themselves. You know, so I think that you give this person space. Look, you all the way over here. You hear me? They all the way over there. They know you privileged, so they, they know that they can ask, right? They know that they can ask, right, with this. They, they feel free now to ask you for certain things. For some of you guys, they... they this is like you like a motherly figure to somebody. Or this is how somebody's viewing you. Like the type of love. They've been searching for this love their whole time. And they found, they found it with you. Big Empress Energy. All right. Wow. All right, Spirit. What is the closing out messages? The death card. Transformation. All right. Look, this King of Wands has undergone a personal transformation with this Scorpio moon. All right. They have did a lot of soul searching. All right. They, they, they seeked the truth. They were seeking. All right. They were doing a lot of seeking, a lot of observing, a lot of just seeking. All right on a fence about a lot of stuff, all right? This is that first person because whatever that King of Wands was seeking and they hermit energy, they found it. And it allowed them to personally transform and to become that King of Wands, okay? And be dependent and depend on themselves. You hear me? And this person is scared of that shit because time has changed. The will is on the other foot. You hear me? Let me tell you that Four of Swords, King of Swords, all right, they made a final decision. The king of wands to the king of uh, uh, swords has made a final decision on something they've been thinking about. They've been resting on it, all right? It's like they just, they made a decision now and they could, they standing on it about this person. Remember, this whole thing is about assassinating a privileged empress energy. Somebody that literally gave, it wasn't no reason for it, Okay? It might even be shit that you don't even know that this King of Wands, um, King of Swords found out. That they really, really didn't like. So where they know you, so they like, nah, 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 nah. This not, this not, this is not, this is not the Empress. Nah, y'all bugging. This not the Empress. They, they know you well enough to know who you are and who you are not. Simple. And they check somebody. They held you. At the status you are in. Empress energy. All right. They put you on a pedestal. Somebody also feels like somebody is choosing you and putting you on a pedestal. This is all about insecurities here. All right. Let's get one more card. It's over though. And there's a connection that's over too. Somebody's personally transformed. All right. Look. Sad. They were trying to keep these two people away from each other for some reason. Who is, who is this emperor? 
and a king of wands. What type of relationship do they have? Please and thank you. What type of relationship do the king of wands and this privileged lady empress have? To like be close like this. Oh, remember those two cards that came out? Oh. It's like you, you're teaching them about stability. It's like they feel, it's like, all right, the Nine of Cups is giving somebody that is very, very open, somebody that's cool to hang around with, somebody that just is inspiring. You know, you could talk to them about anything. They're always going to tell you to don't give up on your dreams. Um, they're going to also tell you what to do um, and how to do it. You know, uh, they have a lot of connections because of their personality, the Knight of Cups. The Knight of Cups is really, really a charmer. You know what I'm saying? They, 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 they are the cool one out the group. You know, so I feel like you've inspired and played a major role on this person. If you're privileged and you are empress and you are receiving all this fucking money in abundance, don't you think it's your job to help somebody else that needs help that is required, your help, and that is going to benefit and you are receiving the rewards, which is them getting on their shit? That is why we get blessings. People get blessings and then don't do shit, but just do stuff for themselves. Don't even work, know how they're going to invest it. You invested your blessings into the right person. And they are recognizing you for that. You gave them nothing but love. You were very patient with your love. You weren't overbearing. They had to do a lot of soul searching because your character and your image was being destroyed by some hating asshole and a false um, person's energy. All right? You were chosen up next to carry out a legacy and that's being privileged all right this person is somehow a part of this contract all right a part of this legacy all right and you ought to train it's like thank you spirit you ought to be somebody's trainer like you already became a master it's like this person is under your belt now it's like you all you got somebody under your wing and somebody mad that they can't do it they can't be the person that have this person under their wing all right y'all this person feels like you watch them or I don't know the knight of cups to the to the king of pentacles that's somebody that grew maybe y'all shared a home the four of wands maybe y'all shared a home when they was a knight of cups and then now they're the king of pentacles somebody that's mature they know about life they know about financial literacy but most importantly they know about taking risk and taking opportunities and failing. They know about that. That that comes with being a king of pentacles. Being very resourceful. <coughs> Hold on, y'all. Also, somebody was plant somebody has planted their throat chakra in your defense. This is about you. And about the role you played in somebody's life when it comes to stability, actions, and a lot of stuff. Because you got, the, you almost got all four kings. The only king you missing is the king of cups. But that's where you coming at. Yo! You helped this person become a divine masculine by your love. Because the king of pentacles, the king of wands, the king of swords. Where's the king of swords? I seen the king of swords. All right, the all four kings is the emperor, and you the empress. So that's like training a motherfucking emperor. You hear me? Training somebody to become an emperor, divine masculine. But you gotta be divine first. You gotta be resourceful first. And you got you got it. And the love, the last bit of love that they were searching for to complete them, like to make them feel like completed. What's your type of love? Whatever type of energy you're giving them. That's it. That's the Ace of Cups. Remember what I said? It, it feels like this person was searching for a love like yours. That's what it is, y'all. So, somebody's defending you this weekend. This is a tower moment. This has blown up. This is a big thing. You might not know about it because you in big Empress energy. Minding your fucking business and privilege energy. <laughs> All right? Remember, the Knight of Coins is the slow night. So anytime this person needs you, 
that's when you are there. You don't you don't just come and overstep your boundary in their space. You call when you go when you need it. That's how that's how I know it's probably not a relationship because why would you just be getting cold when you need it, right? So this might be a friend. This might be a homeboy. This might be somebody that that is you you are okay with only helping them when they call you. You know, you're not you don't need to be counting them down. All right, this is a tower moment that's exploding. You hear me? B big in somebody's household because of, because of the image that was painted by you that was not true. I mean, completely not true, but somebody knows that. Somebody sees that, all right? And again, somebody is very happy in their own energy. They're doing this because they want to be fair. Nothing more, nothing less. This person is big on fairness, all right? They are big on fairness. A lot of stuff probably got done to that person where they just not allowing it to, to, to get done to you because they know you. That's how you know there's good people still out here. This King of Wands is good. All right? They are great. They are, they are, they are a reliable source. They are protector. They're going to shield you from certain shit. You might not even know because they're not good. You know what I love about this King of Wands energy that's on the table? You might not even know. Not only because you mind your business and you, you in your privileged energy, you get into the bag and you talented. But this person handled it already. So it's like, this person is like, why am I going to tell you something and start up something? Because that would trigger you. Why somebody talking about you when I already handled it? That's a motherfucking stand up guy. That is a divine masculine. All right. When they nip it in the butt and they don't, it's done. It's done. All right. And it, this King of Wands is confident that it's done. Because they might have said some shit that can't be argued back and forth with and can't be negotiated about you okay literally that's it, it you know and for a lot of you guys the relationship that this king of wands had well whoever this is all right has died they might be trying to rekind rekindle some sort of relation and feel like you probably over here taking away whole time you mind your business and you only call you only come when you get called when when they only call you all right yeah Somebody don't like the, what you teach, what you teach this person. Somebody don't like what you telling this person. All right, spirit, give me more. Who, the, who is this false person? Can we get one more? Can we get a clear message? Maybe a sign, um, a zodiac, a, uh, a court card. I don't know. Spirit is saying it's not for you to know. If you, spirit is saying you already know. Maybe it's not for everybody. No, it's not for broadcast. It's a closing out of cycle. This king of wands, all right, is this king of swords. This person, ha ooh, it's somebody probably you was in a group with, worked with, all right, but they were confused about this king of wands bid wanted to work with you on something or bid wanted to receive your advice or bid wanted to acknowledge you for who you were in their life. All right, but they were confused. This is no longer in confusion. This fucking false person hated your guts so much because you was in a position to help and empower that they were manipulating them and making them foggy about what you could really offer them. They made it seem like you couldn't offer them nothing and they had to work their whole life. Why would, why would, that's just like, that's just like you, you struggling. You don't have no bills, right? And your, your parents or your family um, know that somebody that really loves you is good right now, right? Like that is rich and that is abundant and that they've been looking for you, right? They've been looking for you, but they've been telling you that, that they haven't been looking for you. And you know that that is the person that can help you, but they've been telling you mean things. They probably been telling you, oh, this person hasn't been looking for you. This person is selfish. They, they have all of this money. They not been looking for you the whole time. It is, you were looking for them or you were trying to reach out. This is what's blowing up in their face. All right. It's looking like a conversation was had where the truth came out or this could be surrounding work or just a group. This also is about contracts. All right, did somebody like deliberately try to keep somebody away from you or alter the way of thinking or how you view them? Wow. 
They wanted you to think something completely different. You knew that this person had a lot of opportunities. You knew. You just needed probably, I don't know why. Maybe you were so manipulated. You probably thought this person was mean. You probably thought this person was privileged. And, and all this whole time, when you started to hang out with them, when you started to work with them on things, you see how generous this person is. You see how open this person is. You see why this person probably acts the way they act and be far over there and by themselves. It's just an understanding that this, this masculine has. It's an understanding now on why you act the way you act. This man can't be manipulated no more because they see why now. Instead of being just shown the results of your reaction. They see why now. Somebody was keeping why you was reacting the way you were. And not giving probably or something like that. Somebody sees why now. All right. They were confused. They're no longer confused. All right. So that's what I have for you guys. I love you and I hope that helped.